All right, I thought I'd try something a little different. I just picked this car up last night from uh, deep in Brooklyn. It's been kind of a tough life, I think it's led just because it hasn't been garaged and it's been on the city streets all its life. So that makes for a lot of cosmetic damage all around the car from being hit by various people parking it. But uh, the price was right, the mileage is low, and um, it's only the second owner, I guess, the uh, son-in-law of uh, the original owner. So I haven't gone over it yet, so I figured, well, I just other than driving it back home, and it was getting dark out, so we were pretty quick about it. But given the price, I wasn't nitpicking about things. So um, 77,000 miles now, it's hard to find in these days without 100,000 miles. So as you can see, it must have been the Fender was repainted at some point because the paint is really checked just on the fender, not the hood. So either that or the, maybe the hood was repainted, but looking at the rest of the car, I'm thinking the fender was. But unfortunately, the whole side of the car has been hit at some point, being parked down the street, with the side facing out. We scraped the entire length of the car and it got really bad in the quarter pan. So, it's definitely some things here and there. And the Broken grill as usual. Held in with zip ties, which is normal, but I guess the engine has had some work done to it, even new knock sensors, which would require pulling the intake off. So it ran pretty good on the 45 mile, or mile drive back, but I'm just going to clean it today and see what we got. But I just figured it'd be fun to show what it looked like before I even touched it. I didn't even pop the hood. Seller had it running, so I'm like, all right, I'm not even going to look, so I'll just get spooked out. <laughs> Thinking I got to drive back on the belt and wherever else with the sketchy stuff going on. But uh, I said, well, if it's running, we'll just go with it. So I definitely want to vacuum all this junk out. I brought it inside here. So it's luxuriating indoors because it got cold here and all this wet leaves and things would freeze. So we'll clean that out. This fender, can't see where the sun is massively checked too. This side of the car is not hit, unlike the other side, but that I'm aware of, but yeah, the skirt's coming off, it's normal. Probably somebody jacked it up in the wrong spot, I'll bet. The seller did put new foldable mirrors, as this is an 01 with a convenience package, which is nice, because they were clipped off, being an urban car. And I've been sitting for a couple of months prior, but the more I'm looking, the more I'm like, uh-oh, because you can see here. Oh, all along here. Yeah, that's cooked. Oh, that's pretty bad. They always rust because of the stupid seam sealer on the back. That's watering and then it just cooks. That's bad. Man, yeah, here we go. Yeah, a little rivet there holding that on. When the body work uh, starts adding up really fast on these, which is unfortunate. What do we got here? Oh yeah, that's uh, more urban action there. Something was clunking in the back a little when I was hitting bumps. I don't know what, but I don't see anything obvious, but we'll see. sitting this tree had street had trees on it and that's all just packed in there it's been sitting outdoors for years now I guess so they kind of gave up you try to throw some money at it and fix it but you know how it is when you're dealing with garages fixing things every bill is fifteen hundred dollars or more just to look at it so understandable at some point you gotta bring the tell I brought to look at the car or crawl underneath it. I was afraid it might be deadlocked. It didn't park for two months, and I figured, oh, the door is locked, that it could deadlock it. But these are my jumper cables. The rest of the stuff is with the car. Still got the trunk net that didn't run away. I guess we got a subwoofer and some kind of amp. I don't know. Didn't notice any crazy bass. The radio was working. That's my stuff. The seller put a new battery in a while back. It's even an H9. How about that? That's the correct battery. So, uh, 
That's nice. Um, and the battery clamp, of course. And I noticed when buying it, the spare tire was missing. And the hook is a little tweaked there. I'm guessing that was due to the hit on this side, probably bent the rim. So you got the old style, original player. Looks like that's been out. I don't know. Must be it got swapped or something because it died probably. Maybe some road in action here. I don't know. Let's hope not. Yeah, it looks pretty clean in there. Nice and shiny. Good. No water. And the tool kit was actually had this spark plug socket in it. Shock. That's always that's always missing. With the pin, those are the pieces I'm always missing. Always got lots of hooks and lots of these, but uh, flares and screwdrivers tend to take hike too. And this never gets lost. I don't know how every car I bought that's always floating around somewhere. Like stupid uh, Velcro decal. Trunk has got some good shape. I'll clean all this out just to see what we got. But there's more. Back bumper is all smashed up. Yep. Let's be able to delaminate there, but yeah, might be saveable. And here we are on the side that got hit. There he is, the worst of it. Well, unfortunately, it's in a quarter panel. And that's, I'm guessing, where the other rim went. So you have to paint all of this up into the roof and work so hard. With the rust on the doors, that's tough. And this window regulator is broken. Shocker. Push the windows up. The hit goes the whole length of the car, stripped the trim off it. So we broke it right off here, but it somehow uh, didn't really dent the doors. And like all this damage to here, and then it got worse. I don't know, it's strange. You get just right at the edge of the door. It was very nice enough. So, seemed to drive over right there, despite this level of this hit here. Mm, whatever. It's life in an urban setting. Nicest part, I'd say, is the, uh, the interior here. The car was definitely cared for, for being outdoors its whole life. It's uh, surprisingly nice. I mean, the wood trim is not too cracked up or anything, but it's an IL. So it doesn't help me as much as if it was an I. Most of mine are eyes. These are still intact. They'll be gentle. I need to glue those. But, I mean, it looks... The headrests aren't that shrunk up from... The headliner's not down. It's unbelievable in an IL that's been outdoors. That must have been replaced at some point. The seat back pockets are broken as usual. The hinges are blown up. This whole deal here is falling off. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Overall, it's not bad. Not wet over here. It was wet in the front on the other side. Some of that. Pretty nice. Inside smells nice. Do you want to save these, but boy, I don't know about this one. You can see it's got the convenience package 01, so it's got the little square button there, so the mirrors do fold properly. So that's nice. The door panel's in pretty good shape. The seat is pretty good too. I'd say it just needs a little uh, leather eke action, but the Leather's not too cardboardy, considering you can see it's had sun. That belt's pretty chalky looking. Not too red anymore. It's kind of pink. And they got the usual dash pucker and whatnot, but I don't know what's going on with the sunroof. We'll see about that. The electronics still seem to work in here despite the floor is wet over here, which uh, you know that is with the power distribution block underneath there, so. But. Oh, no, the screen's out, uh, the screen blacked out. It's working? I don't know. It was working last night driving home. So you can see the mileage here, which is pretty sweet these days. I haven't looked at the inside of the engine to see how clean or dirty it is. I have no maintenance records or anything on it, so who knows, but... I'll assume the first owner cared for it enough. The glove box handle, of course, is broken. Despite it, it looks like it isn't either. It's not flat down, but I tried it. I'll have to try to get in there without 
breaking it. We'll fool with that later. Like the passenger seat's really nice. So, we'll see for our first go over. Just thought I'd uh, share.